who gets hurt worst by Trump care. Budget Office report makes it clear, Trump voters as far as Republican senators go, Lindsey Graham is one of the less dishonorable members of the caucus, I right? Less dishonorable? Rather than? More honorable? For a reason, while Graham has taken a bolder stance than most on President Donald Trump's incompetence, as well as his criminal shenanigans with Russia, showing that Graham's willing to put nation before party, he still ends up slipping into lockstep with the worst of the worst when it comes to other issues. Take health care, for example, just after the Congressional Budget Office, CBO, posted its report on the American Health Care Act, AHCA, also known as Trump Care. The senator from South Carolina tweeted this, Obamacare is a disaster and every day brings fresh evidence that it is collapsing before our very eyes. We can report with great surety. As Trump says, that most of Graham's loyal voters won't bother to peruse the CBO's report, but if they do, they'll learn that if Trump care becomes law in its current form, 23 million Americans will lose their insurance coverage. To be abundantly clear, that's 23 million more Americans losing coverage than if the Affordable Care Act, ACA, were to continue without changes or improvements. In other words, Trump care is worse than the ACA, which Graham said was collapsing and a disaster. If the ACA is a disaster, according to Graham, then what the hell is Trump care, the apocalypse? Come to think of it? Maybe. Indeed. For millions and millions of Americans, Trump care might actually end up being just that. More specifically, Graham's Republican constituents who purchase their insurance as individuals rather than through an employer, a whole lot of whom voted for Trump last year, will be at severe risk for bankruptcy and premature death because of this toxic legislation that Trump and the GOP so cynically celebrated in the Rose Garden 20 days ago, making matters worse. The CBO also reported that insurance coverage for only sixth of all Americans would become unstable by 2020. Again, going back to Graham's tweet, Trump Care, not the ACA, Obamacare, is the law that will destabilize health insurance for only sixth of Americans, based on the current population, that'll be nearly 54 million Americans impacted by Trump Care's looming destabilization. Of course, I don't mean to pick on Graham exclusively. House Speaker Paul Ryan, whose name ought to be inextricably linked to this version of Trump Care, tweeted out his own whopper lie after the CBO report dropped on Wednesday. Ryan wrote, verified. MacArthur Amendment strengthens AHCA, protects people with pre-existing conditions? Nice try, Mr. Speaker, but the all caps? Verified? Text fails to whitewash the lies that followed, the MacArthur Amendment, which allows states, most likely red states, to opt out of covering pre-existing conditions and essential health benefits would make Trump care slightly less objectionable, with 1 million fewer people losing coverage. But still, 23 million more people will lose health insurance under the new version, with the MacArthur Amendment in place, than if the ACA were to continue untouched. As for the part about Trump care protecting people with pre-existing conditions, it's another superculous lie from Ryan. According to the CBO report, none of which verified what Ryan thinks it verified, people who are less healthy, including those with pre-existing or newly acquired medical conditions, would ultimately be unable to purchase comprehensive non-group health insurance at premiums.